Hi there, my name is Justin Apurgis. I'm a bass instructor at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood, California. Today we're gonna to talk about how to take bass lines that we know and apply them into odd meters. We're gonna take a standard bass line that uses eight, even eighth notes within the bar, creating a line using a box shape with the left hand so we don't have to worry about moving it up and down too much. Eight even eighth notes within the bar using this box shape. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bass line and put it into seven eight. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take off the last note of the phrase, meaning the last A note. This is gonna create a two, two, three subdivision in my foot, which you'll hear tapping as I play the bass line for you, now putting it into seven eight. You feel that? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Let's play the bass line again to make sure that we're getting it down. Good. If you feel that, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it one more time where I count out loud while I'm playing the bass line so we can really dial it in. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. 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 Now a way to practice this is to make sure that you have a metronome at home and set it to that two, two, three subdivision where it's accenting one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Set it on repeat, play along with it for a couple minutes until you have it down. Now, the next thing that we can do is we can take and add a note to the end of this phrase. This will create a nine, eight time signature and a nine, eight feeling for the phrase. It's gonna use the subdivision of one, two, one, two, one, Two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three. I'm going to add an eighth note at the end of the phrase being an A. So I'm going to play the A twice. Again, I'm going to add an eighth note to the end of the phrase and I'm going to play the A repeating it twice. using the subdivision with my foot. You feel that? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Now let's do it. I'm going to count out loud while we tap our foot or have the metronome on as we're practicing this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Good. Now when you feel like you're getting these down at slow tempos, start to speed them up with the metronome over time. This will allow you to start playing these at more comfortable tempos that you can groove to. Seven. And in nine. Excellent. Have fun with these grooves and try and do this with other tunes that you already know that have eight, 
even eighth notes within the bar of four and subtracting and adding a note. This is a great introduction to getting comfortable playing in odd meters. Good luck. To get more information about the bass program at Musicians Institute, visit www.mi.edu.